Hi, Barbie. Hi. What we all got wrong with the Barbie movie. So, I watched the Barbie movie basically when it came out. I was interested kind of in watching it, you know. I saw Ryan Gosling in it and I thought, oh, that, would, that seems really interesting. You know, he seems good for this. And there's two kind of views about Barbie. You know, there's the kind of feminism view where it's like, yes, go girls, this is great. You know, this is really empowering. And then there's the view that I kind of took when I first watched it and I was like, this is really just like kind of feminist propaganda and it's like really having a go at masculinity. And so I just kind of was being thinking and mulling over the idea and I realized recently that the way we kind of saw it was kind of misconstrued and we've been looking at it in, in, in either a set way, either set way it is. And I kind of just wanted to kind of open people's eyes to see both sides of it. So first off, I just wanted to kind of give context. You know, this movie is like a satire. It's a comedy. You know, it's not meant to be, you know, this perfect kind of philo philosophical kind of movie that's like portraying how we should deal with feminism and masculinity in our modern world. It's kind of just dealing with Barbie and the problems that that it solved, and it's kind of directed towards a feminist kind of and female audience. So I'm just looking at my notes, sorry. So yeah, women's kind of ideas and standards and goals are kind of idealized in this Barbie world, you know, like they can do everything, they're all empowered, you know, they have their dream house, they all have their job, they win the Nobel Prizes and all that. And then there's the Kens, which are just kind of, they're just there, you know, it's just like, you don't know where they live, you don't know what they do, and they're just kind of there. And um, it's kind of like, portrayed as a role reversal in history, you know, like that's kind of how women have been, but it's, I think it's kind of overexerted in this Barbie world because there's no, there's no genitalia, you know, the men don't have anything, they don't really provide anything in this Barbie world. And in the real world, of course, women had children and they kind of took after the house, but I digress. So. I think the first kind of point that I wanted to make was these expectations that we have. So Barbie had these all these high expectations, you know, I'm so amazing, I'm so perfect, you know, I'm beautiful and all these things. And even though she had these kind of existential crisis going on, when she went into the world, she was still kind of positive and expecting these things because that's what her life had told her to expect. And then Ken had always been kind of expected to, you know, he's not worth anything, he's only worthy if Barbie gives him attention and then they go out into the real world and then all of a sudden it's like Barbie's ideals and expectations get shattered and she's just like distraught and then Ken is like amazed he's like people respect me people actually pay attention to me I never knew this could happen and then it kind of turns into this extreme kind of you know Kendom you know this mojo dojo casa house and it's like the patriarchy and kind of the um, and, and the horses and that kind of thing, you know, and that's kind of taken over the Barbie world, but it's like done in this overly excessive kind of way, you know, like um, beer me and those sorts of things. And like, I think that's an important thing to kind of see. This is like a playful kind of com comedic movie, you know, even though in kind of the next part, you know, after um, the extreme kind of masculine kind of parade goes on and then it kind of ends when Barbie comes back. Um, it's kind of showing, it's showing that, you know, it's not, it's a bit, it's two extremes and it's not going to work. And then when this feminism, extreme feminism movement comes in where the women are explaining all their problems and that, I remember in the movies I was getting so, I was getting literally triggered when I was hearing this. I was just like hearing all these women's problems. And you know, it's like contradicting things, you know, like you have to be skinny, but then you don't have to want to be skinny, but you have to want to be healthy. And then you have to expect to be perfect and then weak. And then there was somebody in my row, there was just this lady and she was going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes, yes. She was like getting so attached to it. And I was just like, oh, well, like what about men? And I think this is where like, there's a kind of dig at men, you know, that's like, um, what kind of use are they in the Barbie world and like what are they going to actually provide you know because 
um, in a set in a way of using satire, they kind of show this way how men are kind of attached to this Barbie, and they're like, um, they're like singing their song, you know, I wanna push you around. Well, I will. Well, I will. And then, you know, the Barbies kind of use ma manipulation to kind of get the Kens to fight against each other, and it just shows that when men are kind of stuck in this patriarchy kind of viewpoint they're attached to things and they want control and it's their way of trying to deal with life and I think it's more of a kind of judgment on the past and how women kind of feel about it and it's also I feel like it's a slight dig towards us men to try and get us triggered you know to see how we'll react and at first I think I kind of failed this and you know I got like oh oh this isn't this isn't the right this isn't right you know men can be strong they can be patriarchy but then I kind of realized you know that women are expressing more of their freedom and they're they're human as well and that's totally perfect and fine and we've got to find a way to kind of integrate that going forward and I just wanted to read I think I've got a few quotes here that I've wrote, written down wrote down that you know kind of show that this movie is a lot deeper and it's got a, a bigger message than we actually realize. Um, so when Barbie is in the tower, she meets this lady, I think her name's Ruth, and she's like the lady that like first invented Barbie. And Barbie says, the real world isn't what I thought it'd be. And this is kind of the expectations breaking down. And then Ruth replied, I know, isn't it marvelous? And that's like a really beautiful way to kind of see life, you know, because all of these expectations and these things that we put onto it, you know, like Ken had to have Barbie to like him to have an okay life, to feel good about himself. He was attached, you know, and life kind of shows that these expectations aren't going to be as you want them. And that, <laughs> and that's where he kind of realizes that he is Ken up, you know, he is Ken up, he is enough as he is which is kind of like an important kind of message, but then, you know, we see these overly emotional kind of men and it's kind of used in this comedic way, you know, and there's also kind of like a hint towards him, you know, going to almost jump off the, the dream house, which is kind of like this dark point, but then it's kind of used lighthearted and kind of just brushed aside, even though it's like a really serious kind of thing. Anyway, I digress. Um, the main one that I wanted to say is that, you know, uh, Ruth kind of stated that we created the patriarchy and Barbie to deal with life, to deal with the difficulties of life, to deal with all these things about life, to try and understand it better, not to get caught and rigid in these ways. And that's where I think the middle way is really important, you know, like for Ken, is to be happy first before attaching his happiness onto something external to him and it's not that wanting that is bad but being attached to it is bad and that we can kind of find a balance between this masculine and kind of feminine side and find some sort of middle ground and just you know there's always going to be problems in life there's always going to be things that are going to be wrong and things that don't really turn out how you want to but that's kind of a part of life and that's just a part of dealing with it you know you just got to there's always going to be a problem, so you just got to see it, kind of accept it, and then, you know, see what you can do to solve it. And sometimes it just means just changing your viewpoint. Sometimes it means that you have to think about things in a different way and change, you know? Like, that's kind of the evolution through this Barbie world, you know? The women were all in power, Ken's had nothing, and then there was a reversal, the Ken's had everything. And then the Barbies took back power, and then the Ken's decided to give a little bit of power. And then... To kind of show the reversal, that's like, and maybe they'll have as much um, as women once did. So anyway, I wanted to leave with this quote: "Even if you can't make it perfect, you can make it better." Thank you for listening. If you did, and the next one I'm going to go into Fight Club and the Spiritual War. So.